everyone. Welcome to Midweek Update, uh, All the Pastors Together Again edition uh, in the new year here. Excellent. Um, we've got a few things to talk about. Um, I wanted to start with something a little bit more personal. Uh, some of you are aware that we had a little, a little duck tragedy. This is the only remaining duck that we have now. Little Dawn lost her companion. Um, we don't know what snatched the other duck, but it seems pretty clear that it's gone and not coming back. So we have a lonely duck at our house. Um, I don't need any of you to solve that problem by dropping off spare ducks, but um, just for the sake of keeping you <laughs> up to date with the ongoing saga of uh, ducks in my backyard, we're down to one. So we'll see what happens. Um, Amy's a little sad about it because I share duck eggs with her. So the duck egg production has gone down. So there won't be as many eggs to share, but. It's true. It's true. Mm. Anyway, there are things coming up. Seth, um, what do you have for us? Yes, um, I wanted to let folks know that we are putting, putting together a video we have the past couple of years that is a tribute to those who have, um, who have died in the last year as in, in a remembrance uh, of their lives uh, in this community, as well as just pictures and videos of life of the community over the past year in 2021. So if you have photos or if you have videos that you um, have taken uh, in any kind of context, send those in. You could send them just directly to me, or if it's easier, you can send them to the church office or to the, you know, the church office email, Kayla's, and send it to, and she'll send it on to me. But that's going to be for worship in January 30th. So you have a little bit of time, but the, but if you can, you know, start to look through and see what you have and and send those to me, that'd be great. Yeah. We had a lot of interesting events happen, a lot of outdoor kinds of things. Um, I was thinking about, you know, being in worship outdoors and, and service Sunday experiences and all kinds of things that happened, different fellowship events. Um, so yeah. lots of church activities that, that have gone on. Yeah. And maybe there were, I mean, maybe there were smaller gatherings or other things that maybe even the three of us weren't at or something that, you know, if you have just some moments that are representations of, maybe it wasn't an official church event, but it's a, a good photo representation of the of a, our community how we gathered in the last year so yeah but i'm always surprised when we do those videos how much has sort of floated away from my immediate memory and i think that happened this year i mean it's been it's been an amazing journey these last couple of years and it's nice to have some record of that and then also like you said remembering people uh, from our from our congregation from our community who have died um, it's been a hard, hard year for us this year. And, and so it's, it's good to remember those folks too. Yeah. And Amy. Mm -hmm. Well, we're on a, a wonderful deacon journey. Several weeks ago, we commissioned them in our worship service. And this month, Toward the end of the month, we'll have a deacon orientation for um, our returning deacons and for the new deacons, and we'll be talking about um, how it looks to be a deacon and how do we share this responsibility with each other in this beloved ministry. And, and our, our aim is to seamlessly move back into your lives as needed with care and um, just to be there to support you in, in crisis or in, in just sometimes there's just a, a long-term thing where it's good to have somebody walking with you. I would love it if, if you have something to say, a, a comment to make about a time when a deacon really met a need so that we can... Um, expand how we use our deacons, how we see our deacons, and, um, and match gifts and skills with needs in the congregation. So if you have something you'd like to share with me, please do. Um, you can call, you can text, you can email me, and that would be wonderful. The, um, the list of those deacons, the ones that were 
affirmed and those who are reaffirmed is in this, this week's newsletter, um, Immediate Care and Sustaining Care. So if you, if, you didn't, if you didn't get a chance to see that, be sure to take a look at that so you can have in your mind who those people are and hold them in, in thought and prayer as they go through this orientation preparation process. Yes, thank you. And that's, that's it for this week. And so I'm going to bring us to a close with an invitation to you to move into prayer. And I offer this for you for this day. God, we bundle up even inside against a chilled howling wind, hunkering into sweaters and blankets, heat turned up, wishing our lives didn't take us outside. Even as we move swiftly from house to car to next, you are with us in both spaces, in the safety of home, in the wilds of winter. If it is in our power to warm another, help us to do so. If it is in our power to welcome in another, help us to do so. If it is in our power to stave off the bitter cold in the inward heart of a relationship, help us to do so. Amen. Happy Wednesday, everyone. <laughs>